Warning, this video contains minor spoilers for Chapter 5 and beyond in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you'd like to stay spoiler free, please stop watching this video now. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21 and today I'll be showing you how to glitch in the Mexico and Guarma on Red Dead Redemption 2. To glitch in the Mexico, you'll need a few horse stimulants, then head to the bottom left of New Austin next to the Sea of Coronado. Here, use your horse to cross the water towards this small canyon. In case your horse is short on stamina, you may want to use a stimulant before entering the water. Once you're on the other side, ride to the back of the canyon. Next, wedge your horse between these two rocks and rapidly begin tapping run and jump. You'll eventually climb to the top of the canyon. Quickly jump off the horse and start running forward. You should enter a loop of sliding and falling over until you're teleported past the invisible barrier. From this point, there's one last step to perform in order to freely explore all of Mexico, but first, we need to get a new horse. Go to your settings and enter the cheat menu. Now type in the cheat run 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 to spawn in a racehorse. With the horse, go to this spot so you can cross the river one last time without drowning. Just before swimming across, use one more stimulant. And with that, run along the edge of the water and you'll be free to explore the entire Mexico map. Since the area wasn't intended to be roamed, certain locations won't have hit detection and many low-res textures can be found. What's interesting though is that landmarks from the previous game could be located like the army fort El Presidido. Boy, the countless hours I would spend at this location online, firing the cannons, gatling guns, and fending off enemy players. I only hope Rockstar has plans for this location in the near future. And now to get to Guarma, you'll have to do the first steps of getting into Mexico. After glitching past the invisible barrier and swimming through the river a second time, climb up this mountain and head south to the very bottom of the map. This is the easiest way to reach Guarma without requiring further steps. Now travel around the edge of Mexico till you reach this land of low-res textures. Keep going and your game will freeze for a second before Guarma appears on your map. From this point, continue forward until you find this clear split on the ground. Passing this line will cause you to fall off to your death. You're going to eventually do this in order to spawn in Guarma, but first you have to align yourself with this spot for it to work. Once you're in the right spot, jump off and you'll spawn in Guarma after dying. And there you go. Unlike Mexico, this location will be filled with wildlife and NPCs. The only downside is that you'll be killed by blow darts if you try traveling too far. But for the most part, you can explore a lot of this location that you may have missed during Chapter 5. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to explore two unique locations in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you have any questions or glitches of your own you'd like to share, please leave a comment below. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.